so here I got my Kennedy toolbox. You can still see the name there, Kennedy. And let's pull out the right tool. Is that the right one? Not for today. Perfect. Okay, welcome Skunk Army. So here we are. We have a four jaw in the tail stock. And you can see here we need to indicate this shaft dead nuts. Alright. So what I'm doing here is um, you can see how the indicator is off there about two or one and I need to divide that number by half so that's why you only see me go half it five tenths out of one and a half and then by rotating it again you can see how this was quickly done now this don't be fooled this takes a lot of experience to do it so fast you see right there it's only off by less than uh, four tenths so there it is this is how you remove taper. Here's your diameter on that end. Here's the diameter on the other end. So the difference of 4,000. Divide that by 2 is 2,000 offset taper. There's our indicator. And here's our tail stock. Alright. We're going to move that two thousands it's hard to do with the camera and uh, all right and i have to go to the other side Whoa, we jumped too much. So now we have to go back the other way. That's because I'm holding the camera. Can't do two things. All right. So now I gotta go the opposite way. So here. Hey. One, two, that's two thousands. One, two, there it is. Go just a little bit, get the needle. There it is, perfect. One, two thousand. That's how you take the taper out on the tail stock. All right, here we're going to remove a taper from a long piece of uh, material. And the first step is to take a cut from one end, the tailstock, to the chuck. Once you finish that long cut, you need to mic it and measure it. And write down the number on the, on the chuck side and then on the tailstock side. And then you take those two numbers, uh, subtract it. And then whatever number you have there, you want to divide that number by two because you're taking half of the taper out. So in this case, we need to remove two thousands from it. All right. So the part 
after you you turn it and, and you measure it, the part I didn't show you here is you set the indicator on the the headstock right on the tip in the end of the material. You set your zero, and then you walk the carriage all the way back to the tailstock, and there. The number, whatever is reading, is your offset or your tail, your taper. So you take that number and divide that by two. So that's what you see me doing here. Now I'm going to the tailstock end of it and moving the tailstock. Now you do not spin or rotate the chuck. No, it all stays stationary when you're doing this type of taper. And you can see there I went on the back side, moved my two. But, you know, with the phone and everything, I thought I overdid it. So when I came on the other side, you can see right there that it's reading two and probably one-tenth. So what I'm doing here is adjusting that one-tenth. And you can see the needle go right on the number two. Two lines, two thousandths. And there I achieve my taper. Alright, so that means when I take a clean cut from one end to the other end, I would be straight. Straight as an arrow. Alright, thank you. I'm a machinist, a hard working man. I make sure the machines run just as they can.